The Walking Dead TV show likes to keep us comic book readers on our toes by constantly switching up character deaths and giving comic book fates to different characters in the TV show. So here are five of the biggest, to me, switch ups that we've seen between the comics and the show when it comes to deaths. Starting with number five, Denise slash Abraham. Many of us comic book readers were completely shocked when Denise got an arrow through her eye. But in Dwight's defense, she was talking really fucking loud in an open area. Really good people, and if you don't wait. So maybe don't do that. In the comics, it is Abraham that gets the arrow in the eye from Dwight, and it is shocking. Abraham is just talking, gets shot, and keeps talking before dying. It was unexpected and absolutely gruesome. Of course, in the show, Abraham gets hit by Lucille. Number four, Ben Billy slash Lizzie Micah. In the show, two little girls, Lizzie and Micah, are being taken care of by Carol and Tyrese when Lizzie does the unthinkable. She kills her little sister and waits for her to be reanimated. This act causes Carol to realize that Lizzie just hasn't adjusted to the post-apocalyptic world and that she needs to put her down in order to ensure the safety of others. Look at the flowers, Lizzie. <laughs> Look at the flowers, Lizzie is still a super memorable line and quoted moment from the show. Unfortunately, the similar moment in the comics isn't quite as quotable. Instead of Lizzie Micah, it was Ben and Billy who were actually twins in the comics. After the death of both their parents, Dale and Andrea adopted the boys. Ben soon began to demonstrate the early signs of being a serial killer, and on the road to Washington, D.C., Ben brutally killed his brother, Billy. After he does it, he states similar beliefs to Lizzie, saying not to worry. He didn't hurt the brain. Don't worry. She'll come back. I didn't hurt her brain. While no one can figure out what to do with Ben, they lock him up in a van until Carl sneaks in and executes him to protect the group. Also, their graves are very similar to Micah and Lizzie's in the show. Number three, Reg, Regina. In the show, they swap the gender of the leader of Alexandria. I'm not sure why they did it, but they did. In the comics, it was Douglas with his wife, Regina. In the show, the Alexandria leader is Deanna with her husband, Reg. A furious Pete in the show kills Deanna's husband, Reg, by slitting his throat. In the comics, it is Douglas's wife, Regina, who gets her throat slit by Pete. In both cases, the shocked spouse told Rick to execute Pete. Rick. Do it. Number two, Herschel slash Tyrese. Tyrese was a lot bigger of a badass in the comics. With his hammer, oh my god. In the show, he was a bit more soft. We probably all have the scene seared in our heads when Herschel is decapitated by the governor. Except that fate was originally Tyrese's, who takes it like a champ in the comics. As we know in the show, Tyrese gets bit from a walker he didn't hear and bleeds out from the amputation to save his life. Interestingly, even though they gave show Herschel comics Tyrese's death, in the comics, Herschel is still killed by the governor. After Herschel begs to be killed, seeing most of his family die, the governor shoots him in the head. So despite the switch up with this, I still think it's kind of cool that both Herschel in the comics and in the show died by the governor's hand. Finally, number one, Bob slash Dale. Tainted Meat was one of my favorite moments in the comics. So when Dale died early in the show, I was really worried that we weren't going to get it. So in the comics, Dale loses a leg to a walker bite, similar to how Herschel did in the show. He is later bit again and hides it from Andrea to save her from the grief of knowing he's going to die. Dale in the comics leaves that night, but is captured by the hunters who begin to eat him just like we saw with Bob in the show. And just like Bob, Dale laughs while crying, tainted meat, and the hunters get sick. In the show, it was instead Bob who had that epic tainted meat line. Stupid prince. <laughs> I'm tainted meat. <laughs> Which was so incredibly well done. Even with the character switch up, I still absolutely loved it. 
Interestingly, in the comics, Dale dies at the church, just like Bob did in the show. So do you like the character deaths being different from the comics to the show? Or do you wish that the show characters had similar deaths to their comic counterparts? Let me know in the comment section down below.